Let's talk about drone light shows that are replacing traditional fireworks. This fusion of technology and art transforms the night sky into a mesmerizing canvas of moving lights. But using drones to perform light shows is not easy. It requires a skilled team of drone pilots, technicians and creative people to bring the performance to life. We tell you everything about this art form in this report. Look at this. They may look like traditional fireworks used to celebrate important events. But the fact is, these are drones lighting up the night sky. Multiple drones equipped with LED lights are put together to create a stunning aerial display. They can even be choreographed to music. Interestingly, drone shows are replacing the classic fireworks. The reasons are many. They are more environmentally friendly than traditional firework displays. They do not contribute to air pollution, which can lead to a wide range of diseases. Also, note that drones are powered by electric batteries, so they don't emit any greenhouse gases or particulate matter known to cause health issues. Drone light shows also have positive effects on wildlife conservation. Unlike fireworks which can disturb animals and pets with their loud explosions, drone light shows produce minimal noise. The risk of accidents and injuries is greatly reduced. All in all, drone light shows are emerging as a cleaner and greener alternative to traditional fireworks displays. You must know that the drone light shows market was valued at $1.3 billion in 2021 and it's estimated to reach $2.2 billion by 2031. We meet the founders of one such company to understand the technology that drives it. BotLab Dynamics is an IIT Delhi incubated startup that specializes in conceptualizing and producing spectacular aerial shows using quadcopters. The firm has collaborated with many companies and government departments in India for such solutions. For instance, earlier this year, it performed India's biggest drone show with 3,500 drones at the Beating Retreat Ceremony, signalling the end of India's Republic Day celebrations for the year 2023. We've built entire technology indigenously, so, and it has two parts to it. So when drone is flying, you have a hardware and you have a software. So hardware is the drone. So it took us, actually, we thought <laughs> it'll take us six, eight months. But it took us literally five years to figure uh, everything out. So now we are uh, able to make the casing of the drone by ourselves. So we design it in-house. We are making electronic components, whether it's flight controller, which is the brain of the drone, uh, motor controller, GPS. All of this is uh, designed and built in-house in India by partnering with local vendors. And the software that is needed to coordinate these flights uh, and to make this formation is all uh, built in-house. These drone shows are highly technical. It's not easy to have choreographed groups of drones arrange themselves into various aerial formations. Its success depends on many factors. So one precaution we take care is we never fly on top of people. So we create an uh, area uh, and the viewer anyways have to be two to three hundred meters away from the where the drones are flying. And for a security purpose what we do is uh, uh, we create a fence. So we call it a geo fence. So the geo fence is a volume that we create in three layers. So what it means is vertically and horizontally these drones are not allowed, absolutely not allowed to cross this. So if they cross uh, one layer, they're given a warning that you need to slow down your crossing. If the uh, second, uh, we tell them that you need to come home. Third layer when they cross, uh, so there is a, uh, the motors get turned off. And so we ask them to commit suicide. So these drones will fall. And uh, so that way we are able to make sure that none of the drones are crossing this boundary and hurting a building or human being and that's absolutely necessary and while even taking off so these drones are operated autonomously a single computer is taking care of all of them so when they take off so when they're already on the launch side 
then uh, each drone goes through 17 health checkup what it means is runs a loop and all the sensors get checked so if the, any drone fails on that that drone is not allowed to take off so sometime when you see a formation a couple of them are missing so those are the drones which are now uh, have failed the safety uh, checkup and here comes the most important question how much does a drone light show cost the international uh, recognized uh, numbers are that for a five minute drone light show involving uh, 200 drones it will cost you around hundred thousand dollars if you hire an uh, a player from us or say russia our cost is a quarter of that and uh, we can turn around very fast we have done shows in less than a week at times uh, just because the team is trained just because the software is so fast that we can uh, we can go through simulations in basically hours that what will normally take people days and the logistic chain is domestic so we can uh, we have done shows in every part of the country and uh, at times at very short notice so economically it makes more sense and we have been able to keep the price down uh, just by making sure that everything we build is made in India uh, the engineers that work on it are Indians and in the end, it is delivered by Indians. While drone light shows cost more than traditional fireworks, they offer benefits that traditional fireworks can't. Drone shows are not just eco-friendly and safe, but they also provide people with greater creative freedom. Clearly, drone light shows have the potential to revolutionize the way we experience entertainment.